These days are only getting colder, but they may also be getting a little scarier, so why not cover a possibly scary knit story? Curse of the Catacombs. I'm playing this on Plus. It doesn't have to be played this way, but it's a better experience as I hear. Well, let's see what is going on. Well, Junie actually survives, but I don't know if she's going to be really happy right now. Oh, I see those flames right there. Whoa, and even... Hmm. Well, there we go, pressing Q twice in a row again. Don't really need to do it this time. Press down in front of a passage to go through it. So here we go. Time to explore. And based on what I see here, I worry that... I'm facing the wrong direction. I could be facing death. So let's try to avoid that. But we can't go there. So we are going to have to go this way. And then maybe we'll be a bit more powerful. Do I see some bodies right there? Yes, I think I do. So there's not much I can do. Press down to go through an, a door. Anything? The climb... Is that the climb? I believe it is. Or it could be the run, too. We could... No, this is the run. So, now we can make some progress. Now we can even get the double jump? Okay, we're not quite that good yet. We're gonna have to go back through the door we came. And then we might have more to collect once we go back. So, you see... We can go to the... Actually, no, we can't go to the right, so... This is the only thing we can do now. We're gonna have to get to the climb. And then we might be able to go to the right. <laughs> this is probably the other side where the climb is. Just we're not gonna get there right away. It's gonna be right here. Slowly getting better at this. Curse can be broken, I think, and then Junie can live on happily. Hmm. I can't live on if I go to the left, because I can't go to the left. Is it? Okay, so it is possible to go back, but I don't know if that's going to serve any purpose. Should I? Yeah, I think I might be okay doing this. It's going to be easier to get back than it is to get here, because then we have to worry about going down when we go back. But on the way, it's just going to be up. What might it... Oh, pfft. I forgot. I saw the double jump before, but I couldn't get it yet. Maybe now I can get it. And I really do want to get it. So, time to run. So I'm not going to get hit by any of those red eyeballs. But maybe I am going to get hit when I pick up an eyeball. Plenty of times. That'd be quite the curse. <sighs> it just lives on to... Whoa. Get stuck in the bone there. I really don't want to do this. That's a lot of skeletons here. I really do need to get out. Hmm. Well, we can double jump, so... We can do this, I think. Mm, yeah, we can also climb that one skull, but there may be more. Going on with the music now. Well... Oh! No, it's not going to be possible to get that at this time. I'm going to have to stick to this direction. Or... Why? Oh, never mind. You had me worried there. But... Oh. So it was down all along. This puzzle. And then this again, so that you can get me the umbrella. This is also going to be very valuable. Let's head back. That should be easy. And we can make it a little faster just by holding the down arrow, I believe. So now, what do we try? How about this? So, so as to get me the high jump, and 
Again, when it's dark, it's hard for me to tell if the umbrella's open. Maybe now I won't have to worry as much. Oh! Maybe that door was supposed to be hardly visible, because that, there was a red key there. But maybe I'll need the red key to get out. I'm pretty sure I would need the red key to get out. Just my luck. Kind of cursed. Well, the ability to detect stuff awaits. But where does it await? I went the wrong way. That was where I got another power up, the umbrella. So, this is what I want. Now that we're good, and I do see the water down below. I made the right call. Okay. Getting better and better. When will we start to glow red, though? I am worried. I guess we go back? I don't think I'm going to be able to double jump to do anything all the way up at the very... Okay, there is something. Okay, but... Uh, we only have one of the keys so far. Might as well save anyway, just because it's there. Where now? This, I believe, is... Yeah, I don't think there is going to be any more here. I don't think there is going to be any more. Maybe there will be a key. Maybe I did miss one. Yeah. Made up my mind now. Let's just check. We'll probably glow blue or green or whatever we want to call it, if there is something good. But based on this, I don't think there is anything more here. So, reset to speed things up, and back out we go. What will really be next? I'll try this way again. There could be something... High jump and the double jump makes getting there even easier. Because I have not done this yet. What do you have? You have the yellow key. Okay, so that's two keys and plenty of powers. But I still need two more keys if I want to get out of this. Was this the way? No, I think I've already been here, but... Yeah, I've already been here. I thought there would be more. It was just for the climb. Eh, well. Back to... Maybe back where we started. There could be a secret. We don't have the eyeball, and we can't really do anything like that yet. But maybe there is a fake wall, a secret passage somewhere. And again, maybe not jump, and nothing happens there. So, where... Okay, now I think we'll find something new. As we try this, what will it be? Just one more key, or two? Well, just one. And there's one more that I'm gonna have to find. <sighs> Purple is probably going to give me the worst of luck, unless... Nope. That's solid, so I can't do that. And as for the other place where I can go, I didn't realize there was no ceiling there. So, that ought to be our purple key. It's probably going to be a long way away. And you're going to need all the powers you can get. Why am I going to need detection, though? Is that going to be for after we get the purple key? Wait, I want to check this. Nope. It's just all black. And there could be more than we can do. But which one will lead us to the purple key? Ooh, it looks like we're going to have a maze. It also looks like this is going to be a dead end, so nothing there. I'm going to check them all from left to right. How high does this one go? Hmm. Doesn't seem to do anything either, so... We can also skip some, I believe, unless, by any chance, the purple key is... Oh! Oh, I'm glowing here! This must be... This must be it. That must be the reason that I'm glowing. 
because this is where I'll be able to get it with the umbrella or maybe I'll be able to escape and that's the end but there is of course the purple key that we need to do just one more check I can tell which one was going to be freedom but this goes a little bit higher so still leads to nothing even though it's really really big it doesn't do anything okay and to the right is obviously gonna be a dead end unless nope there's no secret there let's check what this is if the purple key is on top of one of the skulls, that can make it easier. Ooh, that one here still goes a little higher. One... which one will it be? Uh... No... I still want that purple key. I think I've found something. Of course, I need to enter the right doors. Now I am glowing, and there is a secret door right here all along. Should have figured it out from that, and that's how we get our purple key. Now we just head back, and I gotta remember where the doorway was. Was it here? Just take a wild guess, but this is probably gonna be wrong, even though there's a save there. Wow, it shouldn't have taken so long to find this again. One, two, three, four. And retrace your steps while you can, for there's no salvation for those who learn the cursed truth. Retrace while you can. But I can still go forward. And then we could get something. Wait, why am I... Okay, that's just part of the background, I believe. Don't have to worry about anything, really. I'm glowing red here, but there's nothing that can kill me right now. Not even these parts of the background. Whoa! Okay. I thought some of those sparks were actually following me. Whoa. I'm turning around. And back around. Because I did see the eyeball, and I think I had the umbrella open by mistake. I'm leaving this just in case any other unfortunate soul ends up here in this forsaken place. It's too late for us. Our fate was sealed the moment the earthquake started. The entire village collapsed into the ground, hundreds of meters deep into the earth. We all became trapped underground in these caves, with no apparent way to escape. What little supplies we could salvage didn't last for long. Hunger and insanity quickly started taking a toll on everybody, me included. It was only a matter of weeks before corpses started piling on the floors. After a month, the entire cave was filled with the horrid stench of death. It got to the point I couldn't even walk around with all those corpses lying on the floors. But terrified as I was to become alone and isolated, I could not stand the thought of not being able to see the ones for whom I cared anymore, even if they are no longer alive. I just couldn't bring myself to bury them, so I decided to pay my respects to them by excavating rudimentary graves on the walls, and so this place literally became our tomb. The very little sanity I have left is fading as I write. At this point, you may be asking yourself, if all the others are dead, how did I manage to survive this long? In other words, what did I do to avoid dying of hunger with no supplies? You see... You see... The end. I guess you'll never see. And that's all there is to this. So, you got the truth ending. So, I guess that's all there is. We'll see you next time.